we're going to be preparing teaming for Barrio sub-team. Keep in mind that this applies for any other team or sub-team, it's just part of the Barrio sub-team series. We're going to have the devel installed, we're going to disable the CSS and JavaScript aggregation, and we're going to activate the tweak debug. So here is our Drupal instance installed, we're going to quickly download and activate the devel module. Perfect, so let's now go ahead and activate the devel. There we go. After installing it, we're going to have this nice bit here from the menu where we could clear the cache from, which is perfect and quite useful. The next thing we want to do is we want to disable the CSS and JavaScript aggregation. So if we now view the page source, we're going to see that the CSS files are looking like something like this. And it's okay, but if you want to drill down to where from some specific CSS is coming, we are going to need the exact CSS files. So in order to disable the aggregation, we're going to go to configuration, then to performance, and we're just going to uncheck these two bodies here, aggregate CSS and aggregate JavaScript files. Save. And if we go back to the page again, and if we view the page source, we see now that the CSS files are much more which is in a way good when we're developing stuff so that we know where specific CSS file is coming from or if we need some specific component when we're doing bootstrap teaming that's quite important so this bit is done and the last thing that we want to do now is to activate basically the team debug. So now if we inspect we see that the markup is looking like this but if we activate the team debug we're going to see from which template exactly each markup is coming from which is super useful. You can't do it without it when you're doing teaming so let's go ahead and activate it if we now jump to our code base in our Drupal root folder there is the sites folder and there is default and in default let's go ahead and open it in finder there is the default services let's go ahead and copy it we're going to simply copy and paste it and then we're going to rename it to services yaml perfect so now we just created a copy of the default services yaml in the default folder there it is services yaml and if we now open it we see that there is parameters then there is this session storage options and we have also here tweak config and for tweak config we have debug false we're gonna need it to be debug true so that we're actively debugging stuff and we save it and we jump back to our Drupal instance and we we'll clear the cache with the help of the develop module there we go and if we now inspect again, voila, we actually see from where a specific markup is coming. And that's super useful. Here we see suggestions 
and we also see the exact template from where it's coming for example in this case this bit of content is being themed or is using the markup from exactly this template and we could also use these templates as we overwrite it but we'll see that in the next video so that's pretty much it if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching